So then guys, with the M5 chip announced and it's coming out this week inside the likes of the iPad Pro, the Vision Pro, and also the 14 inch MacBook Pro, a lot of you guys are already wondering, well, what's gonna happen with the likes of the M5 Pro and the M5 Max and those MacBook Pros then. When are they coming? What kind of upgrades are we going to see? How many cores? What's performance going to be like? Well, today I want to talk more about this and specifically, I want to talk about the M5 Pro and what we are going to get there. But first of all, let's quickly talk about then the actual MacBook Pro and what kind of changes we're expecting to see with the actual design. Well, well, sadly, I'm going to say this, there probably isn't going to be any changes whatsoever with the design. The main reason is, is that because at the end of 2026, but I would say more likely early 2027, as you'll see in a moment, it looks like that the OLED MacBook Pro with a brand new design with the M6 chip family inside of it will be coming out. And it means then for the moment, Apple don't really want to do any big radical changes to the current design, what they have with the MacBook Pro. Now, don't get me wrong, the design of the MacBook Pro we have right now is really good. We've had the same design ever since we got the likes of the M1 Pro and also the M1 Max back in 2021. And it has served us really well during this time. But obviously, technology's advanced. We need an OLED display. Vapor chambers have been created like for the iPhone 17 Pro models, what could be enhanced and put into Pro MacBooks. Obviously, fan technology has got better. You get the idea, everything has improved ever since, you know, five years ago at that time, by the time that a new MacBook Pro does come out. So it does look like that this generation, the M5 Pro version of the MacBook Pro will not be changing whatsoever. Do not expect any new colors. Do not expect anything different with the design or anything like that. Everything is probably gonna stay exactly the same. But then next of all then, you might be asking, well, what about the M5 Pro chip? Because obviously this is the big thing what is definitely going to change in the MacBook Pro, and you're right, it will be. So what are we expecting to see there in kind of performance games and also in cores? Well, the good news is we know a rough amount of cores that we're going to get now, and also probably the benchmark, or the Geekbench benchmark, scores that we could get based on what we know about the M5 now, the normal M5, and also from past history of the M4 Pro, the M3 Pro, M2 Pro, and the M1 Pro, we can work this out using a bit of help with a bit of, you know, LLMs, you know, AI to actually work this out for us. But first of all, let's talk about then cores. What are we most likely to get there? Well, with the CPU, we're most likely still to only get for efficiency cores with it. So this has been the same for many years now that Apple just give us four efficiency cores in their Pro and their Max models. So this looks like this probably won't change again, but they give us more performance cores instead. And it looks like that this time round, if you got yourself, say, the binned M5 Pro, so this is the one that's missing one or two cores in it, for performance cores, you will actually get a grand total of 10 of them, what is fantastic. So that means that we probably actually have a 14 core CPU setup, and that's on the binned version. But then if you actually go for the full fat version, as I like to call it, of the M4 Pro, probably just be two more performance cores. So a total of 16 cores, four of them being efficient and 12 of them being performance cores. And this is fantastic news to hear that Apple will be doing this this time around. Now, the next question you might be asking about is what about GPU cores? What is most likely going to happen there? Well, it's gonna be a very similar situation like they've done in previous years. They do add on one or two more cores. So for the binned version, most likely it will be an 18 core setup, what you'll get from GPU, but then for the full fat M5 Pro, it'll probably be a 22 core, up from the 20 cores that we had with the M4 Pro. So again, this is fantastic news to hear that this is what we'll be getting. 
So with this then, the next question you're gonna be asking is what does that look like then say in Geekbench in performance? What are the kind of estimates that we are looking towards? Well, we kind of know already what single core is gonna look like because we've seen this already with the M5. We're getting scores of about 4,100 to 4,150 in single core performance. So this most likely is gonna be replicated over to the M4 Pro. Obviously like the M5 right now, we get like 4,133, it'll probably be like 4,140 something. You, you get the idea here. But I'm gonna stick with 4,133 for the moment. And in fact, I've made a single core chart of all the family of the Pro chips. Have a look right here. So what we have here is we have, like I said, the M5 Pro at 4,133. You've got the M4 Pro, the M3 Pro, M2 Pro, and M1 Pro. And you can see how much we have got better over the years. It's fantastic to see this. Do remember, we used to have, say, about 2,359 at the lowest for the M1 Pro. And now, you know, we're right up at the 4,100. So this is fantastic to see that progress since 2021. And, you know, as we're coming up to, say, even four years now, just over four years, how much this has improved over that time. So this is fantastic to see. But then the next question I'll be asking about is what about multi-core performance then? What are we gonna see there? Well, again, I've made a chart for this. Take a look. And you can see the predicted amount we're gonna have for the bin down version is 25,700, there or thereabouts. And then for the actual full fat version, the full sort of 16 core version of the M4 Pro, well, you can see that's 29,700 is the score we will be getting there. This is a fantastic leap especially that with the M4 Pro, we got like 22,000 and 20,000 with the binned down version. And again, you can see with the M3 Pro binned version, the M2 Pro binned, and also the M1 Pro binned version, how much this has got improved over that time. It's absolutely incredible what we've actually got here. We're talking almost three times the amount of multi-core performance gains ever since, say, that first generation, the M1 Pro, the binned version, to what we have right now. So that is gonna be absolutely amazing to see. But first, just quickly guys, I wanna tell you about two things. First of all, I've got my own product coming out soon on this channel. What I'm gonna be talking about very soon and it's gonna be absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to reveal even more details about this. But the other thing that I wanna tell you about is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this right here. It's for an iPhone 17 Pro Max that I'm giving away on an international giveaway to one lucky subscriber in the middle of January 2026. And you can enter into this giveaway right now. There's just two things you need to do. The first thing is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to still get in 2025 or even into early 2026. And then the other thing you need to do is watch out for a video that I'll be making near mid-January time, giving you even more details about the giveaway, including when I do the live stream to give this away and also a form to fill in as well. So you want to definitely see that video. So the best thing that you can do to make sure you get that video is to to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Plus you also want to be a subscriber because obviously I'm giving this away to one lucky subscriber. The last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram direct message. Please do ignore these people. Better can see right here. Please do report them. So moving on from this then, when is the release date going to be for the MacBook Pro with the likes of the M5 Pro inside of it? Well, we've actually had some leaks in very recently, giving us a few more answers now. And in fact, one of them was actually revealed in macOS Toho in the upcoming betas, where the code language is telling us about the new MacBooks and when they're actually going to come out. You can see right here for macOS 26.3, you've got two different codes here. And you can see we've got J14 and J16. So you can guess it, 14 inch, 16 inch. That's what we've got there. But with the likes of macOS 26.3, 
three, what I'm also going to say is this, is that we are expecting this to come out some point next year in 2026. But what I'm going to say is, before I give you the time when that's most likely going to come out, check this out. With macOS 26.2, we've also got two other products that are looking likely to come out very soon too. With the codes J813 and J815, and again, if you can guess this, 13 inch, 15 inch, and if you know your bits and pieces about Apple, well, that would be the MacBook Air, it's a 13 inch and the 15 inch model. So it looks like that I'm gonna say this, that the new versions of the MacBook Air are gonna potentially come out before the likes of the M5 Pro and also the M5 Max MacBook Pro. And most likely, I'm gonna say this now, that they'll probably come out in the new year they'll probably come out in January time. That is when most likely they are going to come out. They're probably not going to come out before the end of 2025 because obviously, you know, if there wasn't going to be a chance to get them out before the holiday season, Apple would have to roll these out, you know, in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, we're not even on Mac OS 26.1 at the time of making this video. So, yeah, that is not going to happen, I'm going to say, until the early part of 2026. So bringing us back then to macOS 26.3, that does mean then probably more like springtime, more like probably about March time is probably the time when we're gonna see the likes of the M5 Pro and the M5 Max. But what I'd also throw into the mix there is also that it means that those OLED MacBook Pros, when are they going to come out? Well, I'm gonna tell you this right now, sadly that does mean and they're probably gonna be pushed out even further, potentially into the early part of 2027. Do remember like this leak shows right here, it does say that they're gonna start creating the new MacBooks in the end part of 2026, probably because they're gonna get them ready for the early launch of 2027. So probably maybe January or February sort of time, 2027 when you'll get those M6 models. But the main thing to take away from that is that, you know, the actual new MacBook Pros with the M5 Pro and the M5 Max is gonna be probably gonna be early kind of spring time. But then the next thing you're gonna ask about is what about pricing? What is gonna happen there? Well, again, I'm gonna say the same thing. Because the M5 MacBook Pro, the pricing didn't change whatsoever, I'm going to say more than likely it's going to be a very similar situation again, that the likes of the M5 Pro and the M5 Max MacBook Pros will be the exact same pricing as their predecessors, the M4 Pro and also the M4 Max. So best thing to do is look at Apple's website for inspiration there in what is actually going to happen. But that is really the latest and greatest we have on the new MacBook Pros. Are you excited for them? Are you gonna get any of these models? Or are you gonna to wait to possibly even to early 2027 to get the new generation of the MacBook Pro? Well, let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video too. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. As always, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.